Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Brent and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your apps capable of signing in with Facebook, Google login, and username and password only in two lines of code. In order to do this you'll need to have watched my basic Firebase configuration video for Firebase console and Android studios. So if you haven't done that go ahead and do that now. I'll post a link right up here right now. Um, and you're going to need to remember a uh, few things from it obviously walk through the whole thing but make sure you have Firebase UI um, you need to make sure that your strings folder has an application a Facebook ID here and you need to make sure that inside your Firebase console under auth sign-in methods are e email and password enabled Google enabled and Facebook enabled so let's get to it so first line of code inside of our main activity go ahead and do Firebase auth off equals Firebase off dot get instance. So second line here actually could be on one line, but we're going to uh, present it on multiple lines just for your convenience. It's uh, start activity for results um, off UI dot get instance, and then we'll do a dot create sign in intent builder dot set providers. And then the providers will be off UI dot Facebook provider off UI dot email provider and off UI dot Google provider. And then we'll go ahead and dot build that. This can actually, I don't want to put this on the previous line. There we go. Dot build that. And then um, we'll just put one. There we go. Two lines of code. So let's go ahead and hit uh, run. I'm going to show you really quick that right now our authentication console in Firebase has zero users here. And let me bring over the emulator and show you what uh, our two lines of code, code have done. Uh, we'll go ahead and click none of the above. This is the intent that our line actually creates with a sign in with Google, sign in with Facebook, and sign in with email button. Let's go ahead and do a sign in with Google. Um, and my data is already in there, so it's going to recognize it already. Now, if we refresh this page, we should see that we got a uh, a new user, a rally developer at gmail.com, created today, signed in today, and a unique identifier. Totally did it. Okay, so you totally did it. Authentication with three different services, actually just using two lines of code. But it's not the greatest app. So let's go ahead and flesh this out to make it a little more presentable and a little more usable. Let's start off with a private static final int rc sign in and we'll use that equals zero I guess and we'll use that instead of uh, this one here so RC sign in next um, we don't really want to authenticate every user just the ones that aren't logged in right so we can go ahead and check to see if auth dot get current user does not equal null then user already signed in else then we can put all this in there so now we're only checking to see if they're authenticated or we're we're only authenticating them if they're not already authenticated next we started this activity for result but we didn't really do anything with the results so let's go ahead and generate a override method on activity result and do something with that result so let's actually move it down so it's down here and let's check to see um, if the result uh, a request code sorry request code equals RC sign in so it was the one that we started and if the result code um, equals result okay and then uh, user logged in. Let's do a log dot d auth auth dot get current user 
dot to get email and we can make this off right here go up here let's do private there we go and that should log our uh, the current users login email when they sign in um, else uh, user not authenticated log.d off not authenticated there we go so you can see here my main activity has a little resource layout here with a single button with an id of logout button so let's go ahead ahead and add some functionality to that um find view by id r dot id dot lie out button dot set unclick listener to this then let's go ahead and implement on click listener generate that method on click and then say if r or view dot get id r dot id dot log out button then what we can do is go ahead and off ui dot get instance dot sign out of this this is an activity what activity you're signing out of or what app is the root of it and then let's add um, on complete listener new on complete listener and then on complete once it's actually signed out then let's just go ahead and finish the activity um, and then we'll do a log log dot d off user logged out let's go ahead and finish that up one more thing we're going to do is go ahead and copy this line here um, and paste it up here. So if we're already logged in, we get to see that we're logged in with the current email address. So let's test. So if we go ahead and hit rerun application here, um, the application will start. It goes directly to our logout button because we're already authenticated. And we should see, yes, right here, a Rally developer that was already printed to the screen. So let's go ahead and hit the log out button, which will close the uh, activity, close our app, rerun it. And this time we can log in with something new. Uh, so we don't wanna log in with Gmail. Let's try signing in with an email and it'll recognize that we don't have, um, or it'll ask for our email first. So let's do um, tomcruise at gmail.com. Next. Next is looking to see if we're already in the database. If it is, uh, then it'll ask for a password. If it's not registered already, then it'll ask you for uh, some information. So Tom Cruise, um, and then the password Top Gun. Go ahead and it'll sign you up here. And then we should see down here, the authentication says auth Tom Cruise at gmail.com. We can go over here and refresh our users and we should see that Tom Cruise is now uh, created under a provider of email and password signed in today with a new uh, user ID. So let's test it one more time with uh, sign in with Facebook and this uh, phone emulator already knows me so it says you've already authent authorized with uh, Firebase web demo. Um, but that's just because it's putting in my Facebook username and password. Uh, instantly we get logged in and you can see we have an auth at profix at gmail.com, which is my Facebook account. And if we come over here and refresh this, um, we should see a Facebook provider, profix at gmail.com, created today, signed in today, and another a unique identifier. Now eventually we'll talk about how you can merge all these accounts into one. Basically it's going to entail that you're logged in and you sign in with another provider so it knows that that new provider is associated with the one that you're already currently signed in under. 
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'll try to get back to you. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. But most importantly, please check out my Patreon page. There, give me two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate every one of you watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.